Well, good morning, everybody. It's me, Mitch. It is Thursday morning. It is beautiful out here. It is a gorgeous morning for a walk. And with all the rain we've been having down here lately, I think that uh, I need to take advantage of the nice weather. It's a little breezy out here this morning. It's in the low 70s. It just doesn't get any prettier than this. Let me give you a little look around here and you can see. You can see just how pretty it is. Okay. Filming this because everybody always asks me, how do you do that, Mitch? How do you get those shots when you're just filming yourself? It's a 360 degree camera. And I'm going to show you by panning around right now and show you what I can see. And I can pick any part, any piece, any view, zoom in and out in the editor and create and create a movie so here you go i'm going to stick you up in the air and i'm going to show you what views i have available to me and it almost looks like a drone view and there goes my buddy ray but it's really, really cool. And it enabled me to do that video yesterday in Sam's Club by myself and make it look like I actually had a cameraman following me around. And I know that this is not a photography channel and it's not about all this technical stuff. But I do get asked an awful lot, how did you do that? So. I thought I'd take this camera for a walk this morning and show you a little bit about how how I do that. As far as the audio goes, I'm wearing this wireless microphone. I have a pendant under my shirt. This microphone has a magnet and it attaches attaches to my shirt. And I find Instead of clipping it up around my collar, I get much better sound just by letting it hang on my chest. I'm wearing, today, I'm wearing my Food Pyramid Old Guy Carnivore t-shirt, which is available in my merch store. On my website at oldguycarnivore.com along with everything else so you can check that out so the camera stuff out of the way the t-shirt stuff out of the way what did I want to talk about this morning well this is not a rant but When you take on the job of becoming a YouTube content creator, and you become a YouTuber, most of us, first of all, have no friggin' idea what's involved. What's involved? We have no idea. So many people do simply, you know, they just hold up their cell phone, do a little selfie video. It's easy to upload it and post it. And they give themselves a channel name. And oh, away they go. You know, kind of like yesterday I couldn't even spell YouTuber. Now I are one. And then the reality hits you. 
Number one, nobody cares. Nobody cares about you or what you have to say. So you get a few subscribers who are your friends and family, and even they stop watching your videos after a while, and you disappear, and 99% of people who start these things end up that way. Or you take it a little more seriously, and you buy better cameras, and maybe you actually really got something to say. Maybe try a little side shot here. Maybe you have something valuable to put out there. And you get a lucky break and it catches on or YouTube decides that maybe their algorithm says there's been a little interest in what you're doing and they push you out there and help promote you. Kind of like being a musician. There are fabulous musicians out there that have never earned a dime. And there are terrible musicians that are earning millions. And the difference is marketing and how they're promoted. It's not fair, but it is. It is what it is. The point I'm trying to make here, and I'll get to it eventually, is that when you put yourself out there on YouTube, you find out, you find out a tremendous amount by how people respond to what you do, and you find out that there are so many different kinds of people and so many different attitudes and that so many people watch what you do for so many different reasons. It's overwhelming at first, but after a while you begin to, you begin to have to strategize. Okay, how do I do this today? Which group of my followers should I aim my video at? In my case, it seems like I've got many, many followers with all kinds of different things they like about what I do. And I can tell that by the view counts on my videos I get. A certain number of viewers like my recipe videos number of viewers love to hear me rant. They just get all fired up. Number of viewers hate to hear me rant. They want the scientific stuff. They want the stuff that tells them all about which molecule combines with which other molecule and does what reaction? They're fascinated by that stuff. Those videos don't get a lot of views. But interestingly enough, and as a YouTuber, we're always want to give them what they want. That's, that's like the prime adage of show business. Give them what they want. Well, that's easy if you know what the hell they want. Even easier if they know what the hell they want. So every day when I make a video, I figure out how do I give them what I want, what they want. How do I, what do I talk about today? Do I do a recipe? Because there are people that just love the recipes. Do I rant? Do I talk technical? Or what I've discovered seems to be the biggest draw, at least on a short-term basis for my videos, the ones that get me the most, get me the most number of views right out of the box, trigger the YouTube algorithm to spread it around. And it's not surprising, it's not surprising that 
those videos <laughs> contain drama. 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 Those videos where my mood affects the message. If I'm having a bad day and I and I tell you why, if I ask for your help, if I talk about me and my life, my struggles, my history, my pain, or even my happiness, if I evoke emotion in you, It keeps your interest and you watch and those videos get a lot of views unfortunately too many youtubers capitalize on that so they go out of their way to create to create emotion when none is there and that just ends up in ridiculous clickbait titles like, you have to stop carnivore immediately, the thing that I discovered that will kill you. And then you figure, holy shit, there's something really important here, and you click on it. And there's nothing in the, in the whole video that, that has anything to do with the title or the thumbnail. That's clickbait. But it sure gets your attention. I try not to do that. I don't do that. But that's what you seem to want. That's what you seem to click on. That's what most YouTubers are pretty much forced to try to do. Because it, unless we create something that it grabs your eye or attracts your attention, no matter how good our videos are, no matter how important our message is, no matter what we've discovered, no matter how much what we've discovered may enrich your lives, you're not going to click on it. Now, once we get big enough in YouTube, once we become Ken Berry, let's say, we have, we have that going for us. We have enough people out there who know, well, I don't need Ken Berry to clickbait me because I know him and I want to watch his stuff. It's like you want to watch your favorite comedians because you know their jokes are going to be funny. They don't have to trick you into watching. And that's great. And I'm not there yet. But I have people like that that love to watch everything I put out for some reason. So that's why I put my face on the thumbnail. I'm proud of the fact that this is my video. This is Mitch. And there are people, maybe that does catch their eye. But I'm not big enough yet to be a star, that's for sure. There are YouTubers who think they're going to get a lot of views on their videos by making you think that this is a video from a famous person. And it's done all the time with Jordan Peterson and Ken Berry and Anthony Chafee. I don't know whether to be happy or insulted that nobody's doing it with me yet. <laughs> but I don't. I don't like that. So this thing that started out for me, and where I'm going with this, this thing that started out for me as just a way to say, hey, this shit works. Look what happened to me. Look how it's changed my life. Look. Look how it's changed my mental and physical states. I would like to share this with people. What started out as that has become a daily, a daily strategy meeting on what do I need to do today? Which group of people do I need to address? And uh, what do I want to talk about when I do? And that's kind of what I'm talking about today. To sum it all up, 
to sum it all up, I've learned one valuable lesson, and that is I cannot please all of you every time, no matter what particular type of video I decide to put out. Somebody's always going to tell me that this my recipe videos bore me, this video bores me. People just love, they just love to tell me what they don't like. I get tired of it. Sometimes if I get a few comments about that, I say, you know, I just need to turn the comments off. Yeah, I know 99% of them are complimentary, but I just don't want to have to read the crap that some people will write to me the nerve that some people have, the complete and other and utter lack of sensitivity to what might hurt somebody's feelings who's trying hard. And unfortunately, I can't not read these if I'm living up to something I promised you that I would read, that I would read the comments and reply to them, which I do. So I find myself just hiding people from the channel. After I see the same name come up month after month, telling me what I need to do, what I have to do, what they don't like about me, what they don't like about my video. And on Monday, I've been taking screenshots of some of these. So on my Monday morning rant, we're gonna talk about some of those obnoxious people, their hurtful comments, And how hard, how hard it makes it to stay positive and happy, being a YouTuber, trying to help people. And that's about it for this morning. Hope that wasn't too boring, or I hope it wasn't too much drama. <laughs> Whichever it was. Take the rest of the day off and eat meat.